sweet. Ronnie, family, and uh, Peter, good to see you. Hey, uh, welcome aboard, everybody. Uh, welcome to our little zero-G fantasy land. And uh, it's great to have you guys in Mission Control. Yeah, uh, we understand you're going to provide us some entertainment this evening. You know, <laughs> NASA flight wreck made us close our windows today. We can't even look out the windows all night. So, yeah, that's that's right. <laughs> They're guilty, so it's good to see you guys and have uh, have somebody to talk to on the planet Earth. How are you guys doing? We're doing fantastically. We're having an amazing day down here, and uh, all all the more exciting for seeing you guys. And I, I gather we got uh, drums and guitar loaded up there. Is that right? We have uh, we don't have drums, but we have drum sticks. And we have things to bang on, but I can't tell you what they are because the flight director sitting next to you again. But uh, we do have musical talent on board. Chris, Chris is like he, he has almost a living as a musician, as a second life. I uh, I would love to have the talent to do that, but I don't have it. And Tom has it, uh, but uh, we uh, we all we all share the love of it, and uh, we like seeing you on the ground. I'm gonna let you guys talk. Because it's such a pleasure to have you on board. Hopefully, we'll get to spend just a little time, and maybe the kids can ask some questions or something if they want to. Uh, I can see it's uh, Jimi Hendrix "Eat Your Heart Out," right, with this guitar. Playing your song way up here, I think. I'm playing it in D. Hopefully, you played it in D. Hello? Hello, good to hear your voice. Very nervous boy here. <laughs> I think a little overwhelmed. Oh, that's okay. Oh, that's okay. It's not. Uh, it's, it's, not, not uh, it's not every day you have to talk with people on TV, but it's really nice. Uh, most of the time, we don't get back in Mission Control, so it's really nice to see you guys there today. And I see you've got a lot of followers. You know, usually special guests only have one astronaut to escort them, but I'm seeing multiple astronauts in there today, so uh, this, uh, they must uh, want to pay special attention. And, uh, of course, uh, of course, it's, it's great, always great to have uh, people come visit Mission Control. We know you come, uh, come kind of from a different world, and uh, we in the technical world and uh, at NASA really, even, even, though, uh, even though we spend most of our time in technical pursuits, we do appreciate uh, what you're all about and what you do. Well, we really appreciate what you guys are doing, and uh, it's it's very exciting for us. Um, so, uh, yeah, th thank you so much. Yeah, you bet. Um, we can do some astronaut tricks for you, and you guys could do some tricks there. Stand up on top of the console and do a backflip. Do something like this. Very cool. Uh, and we gather, yeah, you recorded a song up there, too? Is that right? Actually, uh, yeah, a couple. Um, I, my brother and I wrote a, a space Christmas carol called Jewel in the Night, and it was uh, released just before Christmas. And then um, with the Canadian band uh, called the Bare Naked Ladies, we recorded a, school, a song that's being used in schools all across Canada with the Coalition for Music Education, a song called uh, ISS, Is Somebody Singing? And it came out really nicely. It was just released, I think, last week, and uh, we're really proud of it. We're, it's it's uh, lovely to be able to tie the newness of this experience with the, uh, the long tradition and love of music on Earth, and it's just natural, but it's really beautiful when it happens. Sounds fantastic. I look forward to hearing it.
right. Well, they're treating you well down there. Uh, what else you got to see? Oh, yeah. No, uh, we have to keep the, the youngest of our uh, clan here uh, well fed. But uh, uh, he's doing very well, and we've, we've been fed, and, and look, I think Luke's just showing off what we're eating. But uh, I know Isaac had a question. He, he was Oh, he just wanted to ask, I think, if, if people were interested in the scuba diving before you did your training. If you had any, any uh, divers uh, interested in, uh, in diving in marine life before you did the training. As a matter of fact, uh, yes. You know, we love exploration. We love going places where humans uh, don't usually go, and it takes a little bit of technology and, and a little special training to go there. As a matter of fact, uh, Pat Bill and I, when we started training for this mission two and a half, almost three years ago, we started off uh, on a scuba trip. We lived underwater in a laboratory on the bottom of the ocean for two weeks, and we left the habitat with our deep-sea uh, um, suits on and uh, did some research and did some exploration down there. So uh, the, the two are very similar in a lot of ways, uh, living in little modules and tight spaces but seeing absolutely incredible and beautiful things that are, are very rare to, to have a chance to see. So, uh, yeah, I think for most astronauts, uh, scuba diving is very much a, a part of their past and is, a, uh, is a, a love that many of them have. Fantastic. And Fort Wayne, is, is that... Kevin, because no, I used to spend quite a long time in, in Fort Wayne, and uh, we had a promoter from Fort Wayne, and so um, I think they would book us when no one else was interested. <laughs> well, the truth is, I just got off of uh, talking to a school in Fort Wayne tonight, and uh, my sister lives there, and she supplied me with this shirt, so I, I knew I would be in trouble when I went back to the planet if I didn't show up for at least part of the event in this Fort Wayne t-shirt. And uh, so we just finished that, and we were just having a bite when we got the call that you were in mission control. So uh, that's why we just didn't uh, – we, we usually dress up to, uh, just a little bit more for the event tonight. We're kind of uh, heading toward bed in about an hour. Uh, we turn in, and everything has to be quiet on the space station tonight for a very special experiment going on where we have to be really careful. So uh, we're just kind of uh, in our wind down there. What's – yeah, this is uh, this is uh, called Space Station Casual right here. Uh, it's very elegant. What's the uh, what's the experiment you're working on tonight? It's called Barangoni, and what it is actually is a liquid bridge. So what they do is uh, actually make a, a tube-like structure made of liquid, something you absolutely cannot do on the ground. Uh, you, you need a very, uh, very fine zero gravity to do it. And then they apply a temperature gradient across it. So basically what this is doing is looking at fluid physics, things you can only talk about in a physics textbook. They are actually looking at it and studying it and able to determine exactly how the fluid and the temperature differences behave. And in some ways, you know, discovering new physical principles based on that. You know, we don't have to guess anymore. They can actually find out what it's like up here in uh, the zero G of the space station. No, it's not. Well, we we think uh, what you're doing up there is, is amazing, and it's wonderful to see people from so many countries involved. Um, and we we uh, are, I feel very honored to be talking to you guys. So thanks so much. Well, it was uh, it was great talking, and it is it's a it's a big thanks to all the countries who take the time to do this. Uh, Tom is going and getting toys to play with here, and they're all coming coming this way. Some of it's a little dangerous. These all toys can fly apart and just uh, cause a lot of havoc. They're taped closed with great tape, though, so just in case. But uh, anyway, yeah, all the all the countries participating in this thing, uh, I think it's just a wonderful thing that uh, that 15 of the most affluent countries got together and said, you know what, we're going to do something for people 100 years from now. Some of this stuff, well, maybe we may not see it in five years. I not see it in 50 years, but 100 years from now, what we're doing today, I think, is going to make a difference. So uh, we are very lucky to be up here, very, very lucky to be up here. Uh, we wish everybody could come and spend some time up here. 
and uh, we have we got to share it with you today. Uh, one of these days, maybe those uh, those kids sitting right down there will get to make the trip. I do. Uh, I really do hope they can if they want to, and uh, and see what this is all about. It's a uh, it's a it's a wonderful place, and there are a lot of people on the ground that put their hearts and souls and lives into it, and it's uh, it's going to make a difference someday to those future generations, uh, the ones we're seeing on the screen right there. So great time. It's a great pleasure for for us uh, to have this opportunity, and thank you so much. And b best of luck to, to all of you for the rest of your time up there. And safe travels back. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much again. Thank you. Bye-bye to all of you. It's great to hear your voices. Have a great day. Well, yeah, we, uh, all the better we, now. Uh, love the planet Earth, too. Can't wait to come home and see it again soon. Bye-bye, everybody.